Alrighty, so we're back in the good old garage. Um, yeah. So, what time is it? It is time to take these boys right here, which me and Nick already got off on all four corners, and put them on that boy right there. Because this thing needs to be slammed, and yeah, I, I, I just, yeah, no, it's time to transfer the suspension. Um, we also took off the Serial 9 arms, which are so beautiful. Uh, I was really, really, really worried about this side from the crash, having my suspension, um, my coilovers, and my arms being bent. But I looked at them, and they should be okay. Um, they didn't look bent or anything. The only thing that was annoying is uh, when I took off this one, I just, I don't know, I guess I wasn't being too careful, and I accidentally had the tool that I used to remove the ball joints, or the, pop the ball joint out. Um, I put it maybe in a little bit of the wrong spot, and I tore the boot just a little bit, but like, really tearing the boot isn't that big of a deal. If anything, a little bit of grease might come out, um, but they're, they're mint, they're still good to go. So, we're gonna put on the coilovers, and the wheels, the upper control arms with a decent bit of camber again. And what I didn't show you guys also was I already rolled the fenders. I don't know, you can't see it, but um, let's see if I can get the light out. Oh, maybe. Hmm. Doesn't want to work. Okay, it's a black car. It's hard to film in dark spots, but. Yeah, the fenders are already rolled and pulled a decent bit. Obviously not perfect. Um, I kind of was in a rush to do it last weekend. You can see I chipped a little bit of paint right here, which sucks, but these cars are old, so there's really not much you can do. But yeah, I don't know. They're rolled and pulled a decent bit, so, you know, should be able to at least fit my old wheel set up in there. And what's going to be nice is I won't really have to adjust anything at all on the coilovers or whatever. Just uh, transfer them on that puppy and we'll be good because they were set up a specific way for this car, which I loved, and just put them on this car. So yeah, hopefully you guys are stoked about that. There's not really gonna be too much, um, probably video of me actually putting in the coilovers, but I'll for sure like update you guys when I have like the front done or one side done, like however I wanna do it. And Nick's gonna be coming over in a little bit here too. Um, help out filming or help out just in general uh, working on the car and so that's a good little update and what this main video or what this video is mainly about but 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 I have a surprise which hopefully you guys are stoked on yep see that oh boy got some blitzes with some nice specs. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, <laughs> from selling some, here, let me put the camera down real quick. From selling some car parts, I, uh, saved up a little bit of money and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy some fucking nice three piece wheels because, let me show you guys. As you all know, the accident really mangled this one up. You can see a clear bend, a little chip, but the good news is this tire holds air completely fine. Like, um, yeah, I never showed you guys the tire that got messed up in the accident, but I basically corded the other one. Um, yeah, you can see it, it's really, really bad. It got so hot too that there's some bluing on the tire from the heat. Um, but, yeah, so this rim's bent, you can tell from here, but it's not totally compromised, I can definitely still use it, it just, I don't know, it might be a little bit off balance, obviously, and it's kind of sketchy, so, ideally, what I want is not to have to run this, I'd much rather prefer to 
run just like two normally good battles. And so that gave me the idea to either buy another battle by itself, which I'd have to buy a new tire, or, um, you know, do something stupid and buy wheels I totally probably couldn't even afford. But look at them. Just look at them. They're a little dirty, but uh, they'll, they'll polish right up. They're four inch lips, um, five and a half inch barrels. So overall they're nine and a half inches wide, but three piece wheels are measured a little bit differently. Technically from this ridge to this ridge, like the very outermost part of the lip, it's 10 and a half inches because there's about half an inch on each little lip. So they don't count that when they're measuring the barrels and the lips. Or I mean on each ridge, it's like half an inch, yeah. And they're 17 by 9.5 plus 15, which technically should be the same specs as my battles. But like I said, they're a little bit wider. Um, but yeah, these have been like my dream wheels for a long time, guys. So I don't know. Uh, some people know about them. Some people don't. They're really, really rare, um, you know, Japanese three-piece wheels. So I'm just super hyped on them. Can't wait, wait to get some tires on them. So basically today, when we lower the car, I'll... Um, you know, put these wheels all four on because that's all I have for tires. But when I get tires for those, I'll put those on the front. So it'll be sweet. So anyways, guys. Oh, God, I can't work a camera. Um, I'll keep uh, updating you on the progress for today and it should be good. Oh, are you here, El Grotto? El Grotto, where are you at, son? Eddie? Eddie, my man, where you at? Where's Jose? Jose? Where's Jose right now? Jose? Jose? Jose, are you here right now? Hello? Where's Edgardo? Where's Edgardo? He's underneath the car. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so Nick's here. Am I here? No. Alright guys, so if you want to know how to take out stock suspension on a shitty old IS300, so you got to have uh, two bolts right here. They're 12 millimeters. You're going to have another bolt right here, 19 mil. And then there's going to be three of them sons of bitches up there, and you got to take all of them out, and then you're, you're good to go, boy. Are you sure about that, son? Nope. No? Oh. So, I got the first stock um, strut out. And as you can see, it's kind of bent. Whoops. So yeah, if you want to take up the stock suspension, see like I never had to do it on that car because that car just came with the CX Racing coilover, so I've never done this before. So I just acted like I was all sick and like knew what to do, but I didn't. So to get the stock, and you can just see the size difference. Look how much shorter it is. So since it's so much shorter, it's just essentially easier to get out. But the stock one, you have to unbolt the um, sway bar end link. Oh, you can't really see it, but you're gonna have to unbolt the sway bar end link and then just this front bolt for the lower control arm. So that way you can like sag the um, lower control arm down enough to pop that one out. But I tried yanking that one out without undoing those bolts. So it's a little bent, but that's all right. Cause it just, it's junk. What I mean, it really wasn't junk. It was perfectly fine, but. That was junk. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can like bend the I, I don't think, strut I don't know, maybe, back maybe. and I keep on going. But now we know exactly what to do for the other side, so that's gonna go quick. And then the fronts really don't have anything that will like we'll hold you up necessarily. Side. We'll time the next side. No. See how fast we can get it. No pressure. No, I'm gonna pressure you. I have the timer going on right there. Why do you open the camera lens so big on me, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing there? Huh? Telescoping me? Telescoping me? Oh, I can see my reflection. Okay, we'll be back. Go ahead. All right, so Nick's trying to learn how to use a camera. Anyways, so we're getting this side off. It's going a lot smoother, but I found a little prize in my, hold on. Oh, fuck. God damn it. You know, apparently we just leave bottle caps in people's suspension arms. <laughs> what type of bottle cap is oh, it? Oh, it's Coca-Cola. Ah. But why, it's green. Coke bottle? Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, sure? we're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, maybe you're just discolorated. Dis yeah, discolorated. Yeah. Things go to green. 
Nah, I don't know. Maybe it's from a different place. Alright, we're gonna keep working on <coughs> God bless you. <laughs> oh, jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. We're gonna jiggle and we'll be right back. Dun, 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 dun. How are you looking? We're looking good. Oh, it's still so far in. That's alright though. That's chill. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh baby. Oh We're it's, back. it's so dark. Huh. Hold on. Yeah, your face towards Oh boy. I've been doing this all day, but that's alright. I think we're finally almost there. So basically the car's toe was pretty thrown off after the um, coilovers got put on, which is understandable. But I tried to get the toe as good as I could by myself. I know I'm not an alignment shop, so I can't really get it 100% zeroed out, but just did my best so that way, I don't know if you can see. I don't know, just did my best so that way I can hopefully drive around town and not destroy my tires, but yeah, car's looking great. Um, I don't know what else to say, but I'm just hyped. Looks good, looks good. All right, so doing a good old oil change real quick. Turn off this music before we get copyrighted. There we go, all right. So yeah, camera's about to die, but we're doing a oil change on her. I also went and got some new windshield wiper blades and I'm redoing the, or restoring the black little rain tray. So I'm just in general trying to clean up the car. It's still extremely, extremely dirty from all this like rain and stuff like that, um, but Coming along, coming along, and then after I'm done with all this, I'm gonna wash it. Okay guys, so I've tried to end this video like three different ways, and I'm not sure which way I'm gonna use, but I think this is going to be the best way to end the video. Just washed the car. Oh my god, the camera makes it look so much better than it is. This paint is not that great, guys, I promise you, but yeah, it is cleaner, so that's great. And as you can see, it's looking pretty sweet, looking pretty good. Um, I, uh, I don't know. It's finally coming along, so it's nice. It's really nice to finally feel like it's my car again. So I can just give you guys a little bit of a walk around. Oh, that's locked. Okay, cool. I'm smart. Like I said, I had to roll and pull the fenders as quick as I could uh, last weekend or a couple weekends ago. So they're not like the greatest rolled fenders ever, but whatever. Got the job done. I think it looks all right. So yeah, guys, um, that's going to be it for this video. We'll keep making videos on this and Tim uh, has his turbo for his Miata. So that's going to happen pretty soon too. And we haven't updated you guys on Logan's E85 tune for his BRZ yet, so that's sweet also. He's making more power. Pretty fun. Um, so, yeah, just stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.